No university can predict this kind of shooting in advance. However, Campbell assured us that this university is fully capable of dealing with such threats. In 1968, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in Brandenburg versus Ohio that unless the speech results in imminent lawless action, then it is protected by the First Amendment of the Constitution. That law remains in effect today. Although some students are concerned over the move to FBS status because they believe it may take away funding from other departments, Corell says this move is going to be for the greater good of the university. For Bobcat Update, I'm Monty Ashkar. Earlier this month, Senator Shanna Schultz brought up articles of impeachment against Chief Justice Mike Guzman on the basis he allegedly violated ASG's code of conduct for discriminating against certain ethnic groups in a series of columns he wrote for the University Star. Schultz says a student complained to her about Guzman's columns. Originally, it was sourced from a constituent of mine in one of my classes. He had the articles that were written, and he came up to me and goes, is this guy an ASG? And I answered yes, and he said, so what, does ASG just allow discrimination? In response to the charges, ASG formed a committee to decide whether Guzman should be impeached. Earlier this week, the committee decided no, he was not in violation. We put equal weight on what the Constitution said and on what, um, what each member of that committee thought sincerely from the allegations and from the, the evidence in front of them, um, whether he was guilty. Senate Pro Tem Sarah Wood says Guzman has been cleared of the charges because of ambiguous language in the ASG Constitution. Guzman says he's the one who's been discriminated against. I'm a conservative columnist, and uh, I think if I was a liberal columnist writing on liberal issues, I think they wouldn't have had a problem with anything that I have written. Media law professor Gilbert Martinez says that even if the ASG had succeeded in impeaching Guzman, he probably could have won a lawsuit on First Amendment grounds. The First Amendment, of course, protects freedom of speech. Martinez says his newspaper articles would not have been sufficient grounds for impeachment. Now, I think there's a difference between discriminatory conduct, which you can punish, and discriminatory speech, which would uh, certainly be protected by the First Amendment. Um, you know, you can't force someone to have an opinion that they don't have. Martinez says that the courts usually rule in favor of more speech, not less. In 1968, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in Brandenburg versus Ohio that unless the speech results in imminent lawless action, then it is protected by the First Amendment of the Constitution. That law remains in effect today. For Bobcat Update, I'm Monty Ashkar. The concern is this, the move is going to cost a lot of money and there is fear that the needed funding will come at the expense of academics. We just need a lot of money right now for other departments, preferably the math department. Since I'm a mathematics major, it would be nice to get better chalk because our chalk, we got like the cheapest chalk this year which breaks extremely easily, the professors don't like it. It um, be nice to have better tables, new chalkboards, even dry erase boards, things like that. I would rather like our fees and things be going to that than like raising our athletic fees and stuff. Roll says the university should get its house in order before making such move. Next year, the athletics department will be receiving an additional $2 million for its budget, bringing the total up to $18 million. Associate Athletics Director Don Correll says the move will benefit everyone at the university. You know, athletics is, is like it or not, sometimes the, the front porch of what people see uh, from a university, obviously on a national level. Uh, being exposed with, with more television games, being more recognized. Some students like the idea of joining the WAC and being eligible for FBS competition. I think it's a, a good move on Texas State's part. We can uh, increase our, the amount of students we have coming here if more students are interested in our football program. It'll help as far as recruitment and whatnot. Although some students are concerned over the move to FBS status because they believe it may take away funding from other departments, Corell says this move is going to be for the greater good of the university. For Bobcat Update, I'm Monty Ashkar. The lead Mexican investigator looking into the disappearance of a Colorado man along the Texas border has been killed. The wife of David Hartley says her husband was killed by pirates a couple of weeks ago on Falcon Lake. And she urged the Mexican authorities to step up their efforts to find his body. But the decapitated head of the officer who led the investigation was stuffed into a suitcase and left at an army garrison yesterday. Mexican drug cartels are set to control the area on Falcon Lake where Hartley was killed while jet skiing.